You're watching America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. Good Friday morning, the chaotic situation in Iraq shows no signs of letting up as militants claim even more territory. And now President Obama is weighing his options as the insurgents creep closer to Baghdad. So will U.S. strikes be next? ABC's Kristen Fisher live in Washington with reaction from the White House. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning. Well, President Obama says the U.S. military is going to do something. But after nearly nine years of war and sacrifice in Iraq, one option that's not on the table is putting more U.S. troops back on the ground. This cell phone video shot just yesterday appears to show Islamic extremists parading through the northern Iraqi city of Mosul in vehicles seized from Iraqi soldiers. Those soldiers have been trying to stop the militants as they storm through city after city towards Baghdad. But as this YouTube video posted by the militant shows, the Iraqi troops are losing. Thousands of Iraqi soldiers are seen here surrendering to the militants with links to Al-Qaeda. Iraq's government is now begging the U.S. to step in. Yesterday, a cautious President Obama said help is on the way. My team is working uh, around the clock to identify how we can uh, provide uh, the most effective assistance to them. The White House is now weighing a range of short-term military options, including airstrikes. But putting American troops back on the ground isn't one of them. Instead, the president is calling on the international community to help. But the top U.N. official in Iraq appears to be downplaying the crisis, saying the Iraqi government is still in control. At least this is the way I understood him. There is no immediate danger of uh, uh, the violence spreading uh, towards, uh, towards or, or to Baghdad. Eleven years after U.S. troops toppled Saddam Hussein, hundreds of American contractors have now been evacuated from a base in northern Iraq, prompting the Secretary of State to say the time to act is now. We are deeply concerned about what is happening in Iraq, and we are not concerned and waiting. Another country not waiting, Iran, Iraq's historical arch nemesis. Tehran has already dispatched more than 100 elite fighters to help the Iraqi government. John, Rena. Yeah, Kristen, we know they certainly have a dog in this fight, but what do we know about the militants when they take over Baghdad or want to take over Baghdad? What's their ultimate goal after crippling the capital? Well, these militants are from ISIS, that's short for the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, and their goal is essentially to make their name a reality. They want to create a new Islamic State in that region, and they're willing to do it at almost all costs. Back to you. All right, Kristen Fisher, live in Washington. Thank you.